Hey, fire signs. How are you? Hey, good to see you. Missed you guys. <laughs> this has been a really tough 10 days. So I just want to thank you so much for all the lovely outpouring of kindness about Ellie. She will be missed. Um, still don't have a lot of clarity around what that was, but, um, we did our best and, uh, she just did not pull through. So thank you so much for all of your lovely heartfelt wishes to me. And also for my birthday, thank you so much for remembering and happy birthdays and all kinds of good stuff. That was wonderful. I just really did have a nice birthday despite all of the Ellie stuff. And, um, going to be doing a class this week about opening up to your intuition. It's on December 11th. This is the December 11th fire reading. So if you're watching this and it's December 11th and you want to jump on board learning how to identify the fear voice versus the intuitive voice, that link is below. Um, also on the 16th, I think we're doing one about um, protecting yourself from energy vampires. So if you'd like to join up on either one of those classes, you are most welcome to. Uh, also, I think that's it. So Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. Oh, that's not it. Um, we are working with an artist, Juliet, who is doing these beautiful Zodiac paintings. So you might want to check them out. I'm using them as the thumbnails for the mid-December reading. So if you like those, each Zodiac sign has a beautiful... Um, piece of art from Juliet. She's going to be doing the deck with us, the tarot deck with us. So if you like it, check it out. You can get one for Christmas or they'll make great Christmas gifts, stuff like that. So you might want to check that out. All right. Fire signs. What is going on for you? Aries, Leo, Sag. Milk and honey. Sagittarius birth, birthday time. Ha <laughs> ha. Soulmates, I like it. Here and now. Okay. Um, this is this reading is for uh, somebody, one of you, or some of you who have a soulmate coming in really strongly right now. Um, this is going to be better than you could have imagined. It's going to feel so safe and warm and just really good, very peaceful. It's not. It's not pulling you off your center. I, I do feel like some of you relationships in the past have really pulled you off your center. You really get to be yourself in this relationship. This person is very uh, caring and emotionally available. Okay, it could be a Gemini. I just saw two things happening here. So Ten of Pentacles underneath, solid. All right, really solid. Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands, Five of Wands, King of Wands, there you are, Scorpio Energy, Four of Cups, Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. Somebody here might be choosing between you and another person. I feel like um, if that happens, that if they're trying to choose between you and another person, I feel like by the time they get around to making the offer, you might feel a little bit like, what took you so long to choose me? Why, what, what, what? Why, why? This person is very talkative, offering a lot of information to you, wanting to talk, wanting to travel, but they have a burden around other people. This person could still be in some sort of commitment. There's a lot going on. This person has a lot on their plate. Okay. And they may talk a good game to you right now. I don't mean a game, but because I do feel like this person's a good soulmate, they might not uh, quite be ready to give you what they say they're, they want to give you. They may want to give it to you, I don't know that they're ready right yet. There's other people in the way. It could be family. Family, friends could be in the way. Um, I feel like you, so this is them talking about their burden. All right, they have a burden. They have um, a lot on their plate. 
they feel like they're falling in love with you. Eight of Wands, the, the, the um, Cupid's Arrows. But there's other people around them. Let me just see about that. Okay, these two want to come out. Children. Children. They have, they have children. Okay, and the children uh, are still... They're still responsible for these children. Um, could be could be a, a fair amount of children. Three, four, five children. They're still responsible for that, for them. Okay, so they could paint this picture of family life, wanting to have family, wanting to be in family, wanting to do that. Um... I feel like they're at a real crossroads in their life. Something could have just big, could have just ended. And so they think they're free of a, you know, a, a former relationship or whatever. Right now, here and now, let's do it now. There's some kind of urgency around the communication with this person. I, I think they're writing checks that their body can't cash. Or they're writing checks that their life can't cash right now. All right, so I feel like you, fire sign, um, going through some kind of big transformation, dealing with this person, right? You're ready to move forward. You're ready to move forward. And you're seeing that they're writing checks that their body can't cash. Four of Cups. So I feel like you might shut them down for a while. This is temporary. I'm definitely getting the feeling of multiple people. Air sign. This person could be an air sign. This person could also be a water sign. Um, they're not telling the truth to you about their capability. What they're really capable. I don't even really think they know what they're really capable of. This is not... I don't feel like this person has bad intentions or is trying to get one over on you or anything like that. I feel like they're right here, right now. They're like, yes. But the situation is not quite right. Right? There's like this not quiteness. Almost. Five of swords, nine of cups, two of swords, four of swords. So this person is writing checks to their body or their life can't cash. You might be looking at them and seeing... Uh, something that's more manipulative than it really is. Okay? I don't feel like this person is necessarily being manipulative. But you might view it like that. You might view like what they're doing as... Um, trying to get something in their life without giving much up or something like that. You might be thinking... You might automatically go to the place where they're manipulating me, but I don't think they are, okay? I, I feel like they legit have a lot on their plate. They're legitimately wanting to be with you. They're at the end of a cycle here, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. So you might be resistant to this person because you're attributing their behavior to, the, to another person who did that to you. That's something to be healed. Okay, and then I feel like what happens is you guys, um, so you're both t saying stuff that isn't really going to come true. You're both saying things that you want, both talking about wanting this relationship or wanting to get married or wanting to be blah, 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 blah. And in reality, the situation isn't quite there yet. It's too, it's too soon for that kind of talking. It's too soon for that kind of commitment. It's too soon. It's too soon. It's too soon. And I do feel like you both kind of get this sense of like, wait a second. I still have to deal with my kids. I still have to complete this, this um, dealing with my family. I still have a lot going on here. Even though I want this person in my life, this fire sign in my life, you know, this person could be an Aquarius. They could be really seeing the big picture and seeing long term. But that's, you know, is it happening here and now? And they're like, well, why can't it happen here now? Because they're writing checks their body can't cash. 
They're just not quite there yet. Okay? Doesn't mean they won't get there. You, I feel like, might be seeing their behavior through the lens of somebody else who was maybe narcissistic or selfish with you in the past. And that's not really what's happening. So you're both seeing things. It, there's a little Neptunian drama here, or dreaminess, not drama, dreaminess here that's not really quite accurate. So what needs to happen is, I feel like you both need to step off of whatever fantasy ride you're on, and instead you become Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. Clear, understanding your feelings, knowing what's really true. Healing these old patterns of behavior, seeing your old patterns of behavior, both of you together. For, he for healing so that it can be healed. That's a good reason this person's in your life, okay? But not the only reason. So let's see where we go from here. I'm going to um, fire sign. Link is below for you. I will look at if you're dealing with a um, an Aquarius. I see Scorpio here. You could be dealing with an air sign or a water sign here, okay? So I'll look at those in the extended Link is below for that. I'll see you over there.